Hello and welcome to Let's Talk SEO. I recently, or so recently got a request for an audit. I think it was like two months ago. And the business that requested the audit was a client or a present client of a very famous YouTube SEO. I'm not going to take names here because this SEO didn't do anything wrong. It, it did not con the client. There was nothing wrong with it. All right. It's just that they were overpriced. But the reason why the, this person came to me was because this SEO had been doing their SEO for the past two years. They were very happy with the service, but as of March, they have been they, they were seeing a decline in their overall traffic. Their rankings were down, and the company or the SEO said that they're working on improving it and it will improve sooner. But for the past few months, they had not seen any improvements. In fact, there was a downward spiral of their traffic, and they wanted a second opinion. So they came to me and they said, you know, this. XSEO has been doing a great job for us for the past two years. We're very happy with their service. But as of late, it, has, it appears that the recent algorithm update has defeated them. So can you take a look at the website? So we went ahead, I did an audit, and there was nothing really majorly wrong with the website, except for their internal links were not done very well. So I like, I have an approach to doing internal links, and that approach has worked very well for me. I think it works great. And, the proof is in the pudding. So their internal linking is not good and the internal link should be more optimized and descriptive. And so they took my audit and there were a few other things in the audit as well. So they took my audit to this SEO person and they said, you know what, this is what this other guy found. And they said, you know, this, these, all of this, what is identified is not, these are not ranking factors. These don't help a website rank. And so they refused to make any of those changes to the website. So this guy comes to me, he says, you know what, can you make these changes to my website? Then so go ahead and I make all of those changes, including the major one being the internal linking, which was a lot of work because this was a 5,000 page website. Anyways, once those changes were made, this is what happened. So you, as you can see in the screenshot, and this is in the thumbnail, all I did was, the, the, big, the, the most important thing I did was improve the internal linking. And added a bunch of new internal links, redid their internal links and made them more descriptive. So in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you exactly what I did when it comes to internal linking. Now, this is my approach to doing internal linking. I'm not saying this is the best approach. I'm not saying this is the only approach, but this is what I do. And I think this is extremely powerful. And it's one of the most powerful ways to improve your internal links. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, give you a, an understanding of why your anchor tags are important. I pulled up a few websites that are, are ranking organically. And when I'm doing research for a client and where I'm even doing research for my own website, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find uh, if there are weaknesses in my competitors SEO. And one of the things I'm looking at is their internal linking. So when I see that there's a weakness with their internal links, I know that this is something I can capitalize on. And if all things are equal and my internal linking is better than theirs, I will outrank them. Now, that's not to say that the internal links are the only thing you should be doing. There's obviously the Google My Business and I have a different video about that. And you know, if you can rank in the Google in the map path for a lot of industries, especially local businesses, it's a lot better than ranking, you know, in, in SERPs. But you're only going to rank in the Google My Business if you rank in SERPs. And for that, you need good internal links. Now, I'll show you some instances of internal links. Then I pull it up, pulled up these websites from here where the internal linking isn't great. And, and because the internal linking is not great, I know that if I jump into this industry and do a little bit of research, I'll probably able, I'll probably be able to outrank these guys. So. If I look at the main page over here and they're, they're ranking, this is, this is the number one, they're ranking number one in New York, New York city for dog training, New York city. And if I look at their home page, it's relatively optimized. They've got up, they've, they've got the map pack, they've got everything in here, but there are not a lot of internal links. And if you look at their internal link, you know, it's stuff from, from the top, you know, there's no internal link in the first half of the page, second half of the page, no internal links. They're linking to their map over here. So they don't have a lot of, a lot of going for internal links. So I know, you know, that these are competitors I can overtake. So let's, let's 
take a look at another example. So there's Shelby. So these are huge. Um, they're a huge dog training brand. Um, and if you look at how uh, their, their internal linking is, is in, isn't great. Um, as compared to if they were in a very competitive industry, then they would have to hire a professional SEO that really knows what they're doing. And their internal linking would, in that case, be great. So I'll near a few other examples. So these ones, these guys are ranking in Dubai. I can't, you know, no internal links. Well, internal linking is in gray. Again, these guys, they PawPals.ae, they're ranking very well in Dubai. And this is their homepage. And all they're linking to is their services. So these are the services over here. And this is all they're linking to from their homepage, which is fine, which is good. But the linking to these right at the, you know, after the first half of, of the page, which is the least important part. But that's it for a different discussion. And then if you look at over here, they're, they're ranking to an article. And you can see how large this anchor text is. So this is bad internal linking. And this is bad anchor text. Um, so, which is why it's so important to get your anchor text right. Again, same year. So they've got this in this article, so they've kind of broken it down. This is good. This is good for SEO. You should be doing this if you're not doing it. And they've got some decent internal linking, but you see your first dog now. I wouldn't choose this as an anchor text because it's not very descriptive. What you want to do with your anchor text, it should be descriptive. You should tell the person why they should click on this link over here, especially if it's an internal link. Um, how to set a basic foundation. So internal link is basic foundation. Again, this internal link doesn't tell, say anything, all right? So you kind of get the idea of what I'm talking about. So doggy doorbells, probably this is a product, but I don't know that. So again, this is not descriptive enough. And you, they've got quite a few internal links, but you know it's not descriptive. So maybe this was done by AI. Which is fine, I mean, you can use AI, but again, these are not great internal links. So there are a few things you'd want to do when you're doing your internal links and also when you're choosing your anchor text. Um, so there are good internal anchors and there are bad internal anchors. Um, these are the bad anchors. So you've got plumber service, um, restaurant, best trainer, shoes, winter home, used car, school. So you get the idea. Oh, these are bad because... They don't tell you what this link is about. So you can have text before the link that explains what this link is about. You can have text after the link that explains what this link is about. But you should think of it in this way, like wh what, what page are you linking to and who should be clicking on this, all right? The restaurant. So why would anyone click on this anchor text? Restaurant that links to your restaurant page or links to maybe another website about the restaurant. Um, why would anyone want to click on best trainer? Uh, what's, why is this link so important to the user? And that, that would also be important to search engines. Same goes for shoes, winter home, used car, school. So this is how good anchors will look. Now, you've got Staten Island's best plumbing service, okay? So you're telling the person that if they want to find Staten Island's best plumbing service, this is the link they should go to. My favorite Italian restaurant. So the restaurant is in descriptive. So you say, all right, well, this is my Italian restaurant in Queens. And so people will say, all right, so we want to check out Bilal's internal restaurant. We want to check out Bilal's Italian restaurant, favorite Italian restaurant in Queens. So they'll click here. Uh, best trainers want to $300. So if people are looking for trainers, they're on a budget probably. This is this explains what this anchor text is about. Tennis shoes worn by pros. This explains what the anchor text is about, and where this link will take them. So people know if I click here, it will take me to a list of shoes, tennis shoes that are worn by pro tennis players. The best place is to own a winner for. Again, this is descriptive. And used cars with the highest resale value. Right. The private uh, the private school for girls. All right. So this is it. My grammar was off over here. But you get the idea. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to describe the anchor text. Now, improved anchor text. So we've taken that anchor text and we've improved upon it. And what we've done is that we've gone best Staten Island plumber, top Italian restaurant in Queens, best trainers for under $300, tennis shoes worn by pros, 
best winter hill locations, used cars with high resale value, private girls' schools. So these are descriptive, they're short, and it's easy to do. And what I usually do is, now that ChatGPT is so great and we've got ChatGPT01, I take, I would do this by hand, so I would write this out descriptively. And then I'll go to ChatGPT. All right, so what I've done here is I put in a prompt, and you see I'm using ChatGPT01 preview. So I, wanted, I want you to take the listed anchor text below and shorten them while ensuring that the descriptive nature remains intact. So I pasted all the anchor text you saw, you know, that came up with, that highlighted as, as good anchor text, and it, it's improved upon it. So this is the improved anchor text, and it's shorter, it's better, it's catchier, and this is the type of thing that you want to use for your anchor text. Works great, and this is exactly the steps I followed to take that website that I showed you from where it was to where it is right now. All right, guys, so I hope you find the video useful. Like and subscribe as always, and keep cranking.